Hi all, this is uh, Jose again from MW Steel in Finland. In this session, I'd like to show you a few of our interesting race engine projects that we're doing. The idea is actually to uh, show how versatile our dual plenum intake manifold build kit is and how easily it's adapted to different types of engines. Now if you look here in our workshop, we build around between 30 to 50 race engines every year and over 90% of the engines we install our dual plenum intake manifold to them, so that's how desirable they are. The benefits of, of the dual plenum intake manifold is that we can provide a uniform airflow to all cylinders in the cylinder bank alike. And this is based on careful design of our dual plenum chambers. The uh, primary chamber is of a conical or tapered shape and this is what guarantees and ensures the uniform airflow. Now the advantage of the uniform airflow is that you can set the timing advances in an optimal level and equal to all cylinders, which means that you can get out the best and top power and torque of your engine. It also means that you can avoid undesired stress factors in your engine like knocking and this increases then the reliability of the engine and extends the lifespan. And how do we do that? that it's, uh, we are leveraging to the maximum extent the Swiss uh, physicist Bernoulli's law, whereby in a carefully designed uh, tapered conical pipe, the uh, speed and airflow of gases increases while the pressure decreases. And now if you have a carefully designed conical pipe like we do, with an end cap which is optimized for airflow and then we have the inch heel on the bottom of the primary plenum, then we can guarantee a smooth airflow and a uniform airflow which enters in the pressure box on the secondary plenum and then we feed in the air to the cylinder head. Now if we start with our first project here, this here is thoroughbred rallycross uh, racer, it's a Ford Fiesta a four-wheel drive. It races in the Finnish National Rallycross Championships in the uh, Supercar class. This features actually a, a Cosworth 2.0 YB engine. It's an inline four-cylinder engine. We have modified some of the internals on the engines. We've installed diamond pistons, uh, forged pistons in that engine. Now the diamond pistons here feature a moly skirt coating which is a dry film lubricant that reduces friction. On the crown of the pistons they are hard anodized and there's a PTFE Teflon like coating which also reduces friction and uh, is less abrasive. And then we also installed the diamond pistons heavy duty uh, wrist pins which have a DLC plating, so diamond-like carbon plating, which makes them very strong and rigid. So they don't bend and they can take a lot of, of RPMs. In addition to that, we have installed arrow con rods and crank in the engine. If you look, this specific engine has also uh, dual injectors per cylinder, so eight injectors in total. You can see them here. The turbocharger, turbo there is a modified and customized Garrett turbocharger with a 45 millimeter restrictor and it pushes out around 600 horsepower. We've also put Inconel super alloy heat shield on the turbine housing and uh, the downpipe. And you can also see here that this has an ALS system, so an anti-lag system. A DSPS fresh air valve, you can see it here. It's connected with uh, hydroflow couplings. So these are the red, red couplings with the safety strap. It's a nylon safety strap and it's operable with, with a single hand. So we are 
the distributor and official dealer and importer of the DSP fresh air valves and also the wastegates. We have a good stock in, in our web shop available now of both the wastegates and the fresh air valves and also a good stock of spares. We are also the distributor, official distributor in, in Finland and the Nordics of the Hydroflow clamps. Also the welded for rules which are here underneath. Uh, we manufacture them and fabricate them ourselves, the weld for rules. And what else? Okay, the brakes are Alcon's brakes. And then also uh, this uh, car has uh, Rieger's fully adjustable uh, shocks there. Then the actual thing, which is the, the dual plenum intake manifold, that's here. The conical pipe is now in the bottom side. You can see the uh, throttle here entering. So that's the cone pipe. And then it's connected to the uh, pressure box or the pressure housing. And like said, the uniform air is distributed from the conical pipe to the pressure box. And then it uh, transfers the air via the uh, runners to the actual cylinder head. So we have a few MWSD specifics here. One of them is the oil to water heat exchanger. So uh, this unit we use here. Uh, bears oil cooler element and then we've adapted here an adapter plate or we've designed an adapter plate this adapter plate is a CNC billet 6082 grade aluminum plate which is fastened to the bears cooling element so bear is a German manufacturer of cooling elements they make them mainly for supercars so this is a very efficient oil or water to oil cooler. With this adapter plate, it, it's, it's fixed onto the element itself. And it has also four fastening points and four threads. So you can put on some AN connectors, AN10 or AN12 connectors for both the water and the oil hosing. And it has a very efficient oil and water ducting. So it's, it's really quite a good unit. And if you look closer, you can see how well and how flexibly we can mount this on an engine, on a crowded engine bay like this one is. And you can also see how nicely uh, we can fit the, uh, the dual plenum intake manifold here. Okay, then uh, the second project shows a completely different engine, and this is uh, specifically to show the versatility and the adap adaptability of our intake manifold. Now this project here is a different engine, so this here is a Subaru Forester. It has the EJ25 uh, four-cylinder flat boxer engine, which uh, has a turbocharger. The turbocharger is a modified Garrett turbocharger. We wrapped the turbine housing again with a super alloy heat shield here. The internals of the engines have forged pistons and steel uh, con rods. And here you can see how beautifully we have installed our dual plenum intake manifold here. And uh, you can see that it has a common throttle feed to both of them, which, which then uh, is split to both. We've done these by modifying and cutting two four-cylinder specific intake manifold build kits. So we've built from two different build kits and created this one. You can see the conical pipe here and then the pressure box housing on this side. Again, we're using here the Hydroflows couplings with the safety strap. So you can see how beautifully and how nice it looks when our engineers have uh, pulled it together. We also do the boost pipes and, and, and the cooler pipes, etc. They've all been uh, done here in the house. So that, that wraps it up. So I hope you've enjoyed this and please check our web shop. Again, you can get the different components, the dual plenum intake manifolds and, and all the additional add-on components. Plus, uh, if you want to do the um, anti-lag system with the DSPS fresh air valve or wastegate and then the hydro clamps or hydroflow couplings and the welded for rules. They're all available in our web shop. So thank you for this session and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.